Hello and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. This is a special studio edition. We'll be giving you a sneak preview of locations to come throughout Poland. Some snapshots include the Bieszczady down in southeastern Poland. We'll be moving north to Czestochowa and then up to the center of the country in Torun. Then we'll take you on a little cruise on the Elbląg Canal, one of the wonders of engineering in the 19th century in Europe, and ending up on the coast with Hell Peninsula, Slovensky National Park, and Dembki. So stick with us, and we'll be giving you a fun preview of places that Poland Daily Travel will be visiting in the future. Just to whet your appetite, stay with us on Poland Daily Travel. Why do we do it? We do it for you. I'm Will Richardson, and I'm looking forward to taking you on a journey. We are talking about great locations in Poland off the beaten track, places that you would love to go when you come to Poland. When you come, not if, when you come to Poland, because you are coming. I know you're coming to Poland. Uh, that's what you're sitting at home. You're making travel plans right now uh, <laughs> to come to Poland, and uh, Peter will help you with some tours. And uh, uh, Torun, what is so special about Torun, that that medieval city on the on the Vistula River, uh, in the middle of Poland? Well, ish, a little bit middle north. You know. Torun at the moment is a place that. Um, this famous is legendary, I should say, because of two things. Right. Mm, the first one that um, that I'll start with, so to be proper, is Nikolai Copernicus. Okay, the who's most, that? The most well-known Polish astronomer. Never heard of him. The first one to say that it's not Earth going round the sun. It's not. But is Earth going? Sorry. It's not sun going round the Earth, but it's what? Earth going round the sun. Blasphemy. So yeah, mm, and. Well, he was living in the We're times. I'm going to put you with the witches if you keep up this precisely, kind of talk. Precisely. <laughs> I, I wanted to say he was living in the times. He got in trouble. Didn't he, he could be burning on this pile. They didn't burn him though. They they did no. burn some people like like Bruno in Italy was burned. Yes. Yes. And uh, and Trastevere Square in Rome. But and they threatened Galileo. Yeah. Exactly. Galileo. Yeah. But Galileo was the first one to, in fact spread this news and make it more official. I mean, uh, Nicola uh, Copernicus, we know that he has made this invention, there are such documents, but uh, the church was still such a power, such an institution with a power, that it was not safe, as you said, because of the health reasons to maybe have such well, they, such Well, off with his head. Most or they likely. boil you in oil or put you on a rack or something. Yeah. Or they put you in the water, and if you sink, you're, you're innocent, and if you float, you're guilty. Just like heretics, yeah. wizards, and witches at yeah, that time. Exactly. All it, the wasn't, same. it wasn't a very good situation, no. was it? No. There, yeah. And there is uh, what's another thing what um, Thorin was very well known for was an astronomical observatory, which we had uh, working as the biggest one in Poland for uh, some time. Okay. But at the moment, the, the, we have a Copernicus Science Center in Warsaw. Um, which is, by the way, a great place. Uh, I, let's say, and a, a little bit of advertising, but this is a cool place for the city. Uh, if you want to pop a balloon without a sound, or if you want to uh, feel like Aladdin because we are able to have the carpet to fly with you on it, right? Then if you want to learn about all of that, how it is possible, or why is it not possible, why don't we use it? It's all about physics it? related to it Copernicus. Is. But yeah. it's, and, and it's Newton, not the dull... Yeah. Um, yeah. by the book sort of standards. is everything um, in an empiric way that they are allowing you to, uh, to do the mistakes why everyone says do not pour oil into boil boiling water, right, and all of that, because these experiments right. are deadly yeah. or very dangerous. Yeah, so they they are, can be dangerous. They yeah. are breaking that stereotype and they are showing you that, you know, what you maybe do not like learning in theory may be fascinating in reality. Yeah. So this is about Copernicus. And the second place, because we've mentioned that Torun is a tasty place. Um, Why? I, there is this... What in the world are you talking about? So the first one in Europe, the first place that would produce gingerbread yeah. is, is Vienna. But then the first one in Poland and the oldest one by the same in the country is Torun. So Torun is famous for Copernicus and gingerbread. Absolutely. Which is called what in Polish? Uh, Pierniki. Pierniki. Yeah. yeah. And they're very good. It's and very good. 
And they have shops that are selling Surprisingly, this Surprisingly, this brand is active for more than 250 years. Yeah, so it's named after Copernicus, that's it's the point. Absolutely, yeah. it's named after Copernicus, and yeah. there is a reason why it has survived the whole new marketing and everything why? with all the yeah. old school way and old school approach, the tradition and yeah. the quality of the product yeah. is fair enough. Everyone knows about it. And if you'll try, I mean, try a few varieties because not every you know, gingerbread uh, is very, very having, um, I would say, a strict flavor. So try a few ones before you'll make an opinion because maybe, you know, you'll try the wrong one and you'll say that Peter in the program was not exactly telling the truth. Oh, Peter, I've been to Toro <laughs> many, many times. That's a, that's a place I really like. I had friends there. I have friends there. But uh, I haven't been there for a while. I used to go there regularly. Uh, you know, almost you know, like every two weeks for about a year, yes. uh, when I was when I was doing some work there. But uh, the uh, the the other thing about the place, I mean, we have Copernicus and we have the gingerbread. Uh, yeah, or in the, the neighborhood. Koperniki, mm -hmm. Koperniki, right? Uh, right? You mean the, the... That sounds like an envelope or something. No, Kopernik, Koperta, yeah. Koperta, exactly. <laughs> Koperta. Yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. Koperniki, right? Is that what we call it? Pierniki is the gingerbread, Pierniki, yeah. and Kopernik is the gentleman. Kopernik, yeah, yeah. so it's similar. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, and very confusing yeah. to me, uh, at least. But uh, the other thing is it's a beautiful walled city right by the river. Uh, uh, yeah. The river is quite wide and majestic at this point, and the city has this medieval wall, and it's really well preserved. Yeah. Uh, Torun, Torun, yeah. Torun is a, 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 in a sense of a value of a city, as, as you said, Will. It's uh, still keeping the medieval character. You can see a regular medieval cathedral. You can see uh, the old town, which is coming and dating back to 1500. So maybe not the, the uh, medieval times anymore, but still very old. Um, let's say that in the size... Into the Middle Ages, I suppose. Yeah. Into the Middle Ages. But the end of the Middle Ages. End of the Middle Beginning Ages. Beginning of the yeah. Renaissance, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. But in terms of the size, the whole place is not very, very big. I mean, if I were to recommend so, to yeah. go there, then yeah. plan around a day. Mm -hmm. Because it's, enough. it's let's yeah. say six or six seven hours of uh, of an intense sightseeing will cover a solid ninety percent of all the place. Mm -hmm. And if you want to drive there, there's a very good road from Warsaw now. You're taking a highway, yeah, and the whole way. Two hours and forty minutes, yeah. you are on the easy, spot. Easy, easy. You take your car, rental car, and go right there. Uh, yes, indeed. It's, it's probably the best way. Uh, there's no flying there, at least. You may go there by train. Commercial. Trains along long ones. And, I, mean, I mean, if you're alone, yeah. then maybe it's not bad because it's, you know, you go directly it's three and, hours, and you it? sit, you can go, you know, to sleep, read something. Yeah. By driving, if you have more people, I would suggest the, the road, not the yeah, rail. Yeah, the road. And, and you can stop on the way because there's, you know, nice countryside on the way yeah. and, and other things you can drop off and see. On One the thing that is also on what? the way. What? What is um, Something that I was keeping a little bit as a surprise for you okay, well, as well. Okay, hang on with that. We're talking uh, about tr great off-the-track uh, destinations in beautiful Poland. And now, uh, now is a very good time as we're talking... Uh, in May is a very good time to uh, start heading for, uh, for Poland because it gets pretty nice and warm and not actually too warm but just right uh, throughout the summer months and into September so it's a good time for that um, uh, we've just been talking about uh, as I say off the beaten track places and that was uh, that was Torun